Okay, so today, everyone, we are going to have another example of proving logical and equivalences using biconditional statements. So we have the statement um, P if and only if Q with uh, P and Q or not P and not Q. Okay, we will prove that it is indeed um, logical equivalent. Okay, so we have already established that the biconditional of P and Q is logically equivalent to P and P implies Q and Q implies P. So it follows that it is also logically equivalent to not P or Q and not Q or P. Okay, so what we can do next is to um, achieve these statements. But the question is how? So uh, we can actually apply the distributive law to this. So this whole statement, not P or Q, may be distributed to not Q and P, okay? So then it will be resulted to not P or Q and the first not Q, okay? And getting the connective or, then this. So we have the not P or Q and P, okay? So now um, what we can do is uh, perform commut commutativity. So we have the not, not Q, we will simply interchange the position of um, not Q and not P or Q and not P or Q, sorry. And not P or Q or P and not P or Q. Okay, performing commutativity on the other side. Now, uh, what we can do is um, perform again distributivity the law on this so we have the not q it will we will distribute it to not p or q and the p will be distributed to not p and q okay so let us start with the q end so we have the not q and not p or getting this connective okay or um not q or Q, okay? And then for the other side, we have um, P and not P, or P and Q, okay? So we are almost um, getting close to our goal, which is this. So what we can do next is to um, simplify this long in a statement. So this not Q and or Q and it should be actually and so we can simplify not Q and Q and P and not P using the double uh, using a negation law. So we have the not Q and Q will evaluate to false, okay, similarly, P and not P will evaluate the false, and we will group that with not Q and not P, or mm, false or P and Q. Okay, now what we can do next is further simplify our results. So um, any statement taken with an or will um, evaluate to itself. Okay, so this will evaluate to not Q and not P using the identity law or same to the other side. So we have the F or of P and Q will evaluate to P and Q. Okay, so now we have achieved our goal. Okay, and except that we just have to interchange or perform commutativity. 
It's almost the same. So we have P and Q or not Q and not P. Okay, and actually we can perform commutative now law to this, apply commutative na law, not P and not Q using commutative law. Okay, 